Hi, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make these really fun, trendy polymer clay earrings. Like I said, my name is Kristen and I'm a homeschooling mother of four young children and on my channel I love to share about our homeschooling journey as well as other passions of mine such as DIY projects, home design, cleaning videos, I throw in a few day in the life videos every now and again, as well as some healthy recipe ideas. If you're new here, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and stick around. So you've probably seen these really cute polymer clay earrings. They're just popping up all over the place on Instagram and social media. And uh, I figured out how to make them. It's really, really simple. You don't really need that many special tools to make them. Uh, just the polymer clay that you get from your local craft store. And then just something that you can roll it out with and cut it with. And so all the tools and things that I used, I'll make sure to link down in the description below. But I'm going to show you a handful of different styles that you can make. Obviously, the sky's the limit with color choices and things like that. I wanted to give you a lot of different options for shapes and designs, as well as I'm going to teach you how to make a cheetah print clay earring and just some different shapes that are super fun and on trend. So let's get right into the video. All right, so for this first earring, we are gonna be starting with this gorgeous terracotta color. It's probably the my favorite clay that I found at the store. It's really, really soft and easy to work with, and I feel like the color is just neutral and matches just about anything. So we're gonna start by making those really cute rainbow earrings that you saw me wearing at the beginning of the video. notice that the clay is very forgiving and I've really found that that makes uh, this process just really enjoyable because if you mess up all you do is just kind of smush it back together and try again it's really no big deal you'll also notice that the earrings are not perfect there might be little dings here and there or someplace where my nail hit it or something and um, and of course they're not perfectly matched because I'm just a human making these it's not a machine uh, but I kind of feel like that's part of the neatness of it it's unique it's handmade people are really into that these days and I personally love the imperfections
dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? And don't hate on my super professional cutting tools as you'll notice I do have a few like official clay cutting tools but for the most part I just use random lids or medicine um, measuring cups from my kids and um, it works you know I'm able to get the job done without spending a lot of money on different clay cutters I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. forever. For this cheetah print earring, I went with kind of a larger cheetah print. Um, you can control that by just how tiny the flecks are of the brown and the black that you put onto the white clay. Um, and honestly, I have done it smaller in the past and I like that a little bit better. It showed up a little bit more, but I just wanted you to know that you have total control over that obviously and you're able to make it smaller or larger uh, depending on the earring shape that you're going to make. So maybe if you're not gonna cut out the center, you could go with a small or larger uh, cheetah print on there. Um, and then I'm just showing you here how to make just little stud earrings. I had some extra cheetah print, so I was just going to cut out a couple and make just studs. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? This one's going to be a fun geometric shape and you can just ignore the black one that I made there. I wasn't originally going to make it and I really don't know what my brain was doing, uh, but I just grabbed the black and started making one and I was like, oh, maybe I want to add it to the earring and I was like, oh no, that doesn't look very good. So um, just ignore the black, <laughs> but um, this is a fun little kind of like ombre, nod to an ombre a geometric one. I was trying to figure out what... How I wanted to hang them here so I was like oh I can do it this way so there's lots and lots of choices and options so definitely just get creative and do what you like also a little tip for when you go to cut the holes in your earrings to be able to hang them with jump rings to you know connect them together um, make sure that the tool that you're using is big enough for you to fit your jump rings through so I'm using the seven millimeter jump rings and as you can see I was using a tiny little cutter from the little kit that I have so I'll link that down below in the description um, but it would really be unfortunate to go through all this work and making these gorgeous earrings and then not poke the holes large enough because once you bake the clay there's really nothing you can do about it and the holes are there and you you know maybe wouldn't be able to fit your jump rings in there and that'd be a shame so just make sure that the um, holes are big enough for your jump rings I think I've waited all these years for you right here Get to know 
put your earrings on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and bake them in the oven according to the directions on the package and then allow them to cool. Once your earrings are cool, it's time to assemble them with the jump rings. And once again, don't be jealous of my amazing tools. I actually have some uh, earring and like jewelry tools. They're like cute and clean and tiny. And I, I uh, let a friend of mine borrow them. And so um, I just decided to make this video kind of on a whim. And I was like, oh no, I don't have my tools. So I'm using my husband's tools so you can make it work. You don't have to go out and buy anything fancy for this. Um, even if you just have some old rusted pliers or whatever these are, um, it will work. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much, helps this video reach more people. I worked really hard on putting this together and I hope it inspires you to make some earrings for yourself. I got together with some of my girlfriends and we had a girls night where we made earrings and it was such a blast. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're gonna make one of these earrings, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. You can also tag me on Instagram. I'm at Raising Noble so I can see your creations. Again, thanks for watching this video today and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, oh, yeah.